Hello, plant friends. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying happy, staying healthy, uh, you know, appreciating life and your loved ones out there. Right, I think that works as an intro. <laughs> So in this episode, we are going to talk about humidity. Humidity is, you know, it's, it's always on the minds of people who have indoor plants, especially rare tropical indoor plants who are, you know, used to a more, a much more humid environment than we find in most places and most households around the world. And who better to talk about humidity than Jax? Jax is a plant hobbyist and plant seller in Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona is, is basically a desert, okay? The, the, scun, the sun is like scorching, uh, the air is dry, like you can feel the dryness, you can feel your skin, you know, turning into a prune, uh, super, super dry place. But, you know, she makes it work. She has a collection of plants and she also sells plants out of her, of her home and on Instagram. Uh, definitely give her a follow on Instagram, guys. She is uh, Pax, P-A-X underscore score plants um, so reach out to her there but uh, yeah let's uh, let's talk about humidity <laughs> I've been in Arizona for a few days now and I, I feel like my nose uh -huh. getting a lot <laughs> like dry, drier. Yeah. I can feel the humidity <laughs> being super I mean, super low I think like our normal is like a 10 to 20 percent but really it's like nothing how do you keep your plants <laughs> um well I think the best way is to A, buy native, B, acclimate for outside. If I have a super humidity loving plant, it stays next to my humidifier. Okay. So like right next to it, it's gonna die without it. Or like huge, huge thing here is the enclosures or the cabinets where you have like a 90% kind of all the time not having to do really anything. So I have one of those and I really love it. And that's really great for like propping more rare plants or keeping plants that need like super high humidity or I just like acclimate stuff to being out here and right. you kind of just do it slowly where maybe I'll bring it out into here for a little while and see how it does and if it doesn't love it I'll move it maybe a little bit further from the humidifier for like new plant parents yeah uh, how would they know that like oh this plant is capable right. at some of point acclimating. of acclimating. I mean, I think that there's a hardiness. You can definitely like look up any plant that you have and find the hardiness of it. Like, is it more capable of handling those influx of humidity or temperature or those things? So it's just looking and seeing how hardy a plant is. Some plants really can handle that. They right. need like the constant humidity. They need a certain temperature or they just like die. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, you know, you'll see like pretty intense signs kind of right away. I will say that all plants benefit from humidity for the most I, part. I would agree with that. They, yeah. they all will love it. Yeah. You know, I put my huge hanging philodendron right above my humidifier and it was like, like throwing out a ton of growth. So I would say it always benefits from it, but you can, with the more common plants in particular, acclimate them to your environment. Sure. Yeah, I think um, when I'm looking at plants, the plants that do well in in lower humidity, the leaves tend to be thicker. Yeah. And more hardy. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel that like for plants where you know the leaves are like super thin, um, I feel like some of the the ones that have leaves that like feel like velvet. Yeah, the velvety ones. Right. For the, sure. Yeah, the yeah. velvety. I Milano love those. Like right next to right. my humidifier. Right. Yeah. I love the velvety leaves like philodendrons, Same. but but those guys. <laughs> they, 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 they really need it. They, yeah, they need the humidity, and I don't. Sure. I don't think that they can ever. They can ever acclimate. No, I to wouldn't. Super do, low. Don't ever try to acclimate that. Like that's <laughs> right. not a good yeah. idea. So, so basically, I think the the leaves that are are more delicate, uh, that are thinner. Right. Um, basically, the ones where like if you flick it and you're like afraid that will bruise the leaves. Right. I would not. Don't do <laughs> that. So uh, we're gonna like look a lot more closely at your plants, but where we're sitting now, yes. that's outside. It is. It's it's all shaded. I love right. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's um, that moderates the temperature. It's um, huge, and it's a south-facing space, so it gets right. a ton of yeah. light, yeah. but not direct. I've had moments when I'm just like standing in the sun. The sun <laughs> <It's> is <hot. laughs> the, the sun is pretty intense. Yes. Are you a are you a mister? No. Like do you you don't you don't miss any of your plants? No. Oh. Okay. It like bumps me out that people do that. 
Right, okay, so oh, wait, gonna... we have really hard water. So when you spray your plants with it, it gets like it's those gonna spots. get those spots. And that just drives me crazy. Like, I don't know why anyone would want to do that. I guess maybe if you use like distilled water, it wouldn't be as bad. You have uh, humidifiers. I have one. Humidifier. You have one humidifier. Okay, okay, so you, so you do, so you just use those enclosures. Oh, like the, like, like the Ikea enclosures that well, people... Well, I'm not that fancy. I bought mine for $40 on the Facebook Marketplace. Is the Ikea enclosure expensive? It's like $200, which isn't, I guess, that what? bad, but it's pretty bad. And then you also have to, like, do all the stuff inside, the lights and the... So I use I have an enclosure, and I have grow light strips, like, in it. Okay. And, like, I just keep everything in there that, like, really needs it. Or, like, my little... Grow, I have a little greenhouse. I did not know that the Ikea enclosure oh, yeah, is that expensive. Nice. Are they... But they're not made for plants. They're made for like, they're made for plants. Oh, they are. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're like a, it's it's like their whole thing. They, there's like an Instagram that they have of like oh. all the different ways you can like set it up. It's pretty cool. I thought it was a. I I thought that the the IKEA enclosures were like just IKEA shelves that people like yeah, hacked and made. made. Specifically. Wow. They're, they're really good. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're made specifically. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have to supplement humidity in the enclosure? Yeah, that's why they're so awesome. So uh, just the natural humidity from the soil or moss or whatever you have in there right. is enough. I don't do anything. So you don't do um, like water trays? No. Nope. Okay. I do have two in my like smaller enclosure. I have two carnivorous plants that are like in bogs. Okay. So that probably also helps. But that enclosure is at 99% humidity all of the time. 99%. They're green. You uh, should get one. But <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get one. <laughs> but I think that people who are, you know, that you're either battling with a very dry climate right. or you have, you're just tired of like five humidifiers in your room it's or something like that. Um, I think that enclosures might be a very viable, viable option. And you can get little ones too. Right. I mean, a hundred like dollar enclosure. Yeah. Is probably better than a hundred dollar humidifier. I mean, right? I would agree with that for yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Because like an enclosure, you don't have to refill right? every, like, every like, you day. Yeah, you don't have to do a lot of stuff. Day. So, yeah, I, I mean, if you think about what people are spending on humidifiers, you I mean, I've that. spent some pretty big money on plants. Right. So I feel like if I'm gonna spend like hundreds of dollars on a plant, yeah, like maybe I could get something to put them in. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, guys, if you like this uh, content, uh, please, uh, you know, like, subscribe, thumbs up, and, and all that. Uh, if, you know, so if you want to support the channel, buy a plant uh, shirt. Uh, definitely reach out and support J uh, Jax for, you know, being on camera with us. Again, her Instagram is P-A-X underscore plants. Um, yes. So um, I think that's it for this video. If you guys want to comment, comment. <laughs> Till next time, happy planting.